little Vasi. Oh my goodness, baby, so grown. Olivia, you're so grown. You are so grown. Are you excited for this news? Excited. Why are you, are you smiling? I'm going to cook my, cook my here. Cherry. Cherry, cherry. Cherry changa. Cherry changa. Cherry changa. Oh. Are you learning some shibamba now? Now you know how to say cherry changa? Mm. You know what that means? Mm, no. My firstborn, Cherry Change. What you hold it? Ciao, ragazzi! Another video with Lempies. So excited about why are you laughing? Oh, you? Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, uh, usually. You know, Sunday videos supposed to be family videos, but everybody has something to do. Olivia is sleeping and Papa is uh, working on something. And Mama is lampies today. There has been lockdown. We're not able to travel. We're not able to see our family. We're living here by ourselves and then we got a baby. It has been just stressful. It's beautiful experience. But when we discover that my mother cannot come and help us, it just, I was so sad about it. I was not so happy about it, I was also very sad about it. And we have to think of how we're moving forward in the past few weeks. It has been really difficult for us to be, to try to manage working and parenting at the same time. So... I have been looking for somebody to help, you know, deep discussion because we have, uh, of course, Mama is a midwife and would have been the best person to be with us at the moment. But I just, at some point, we had to accept and move forward and trying to find other solutions. And now, official after so many, many. Yeah, so I've been like uh, just checking out au pairs and I also got like some information and emails from from some of the subscribers like, yo, I would like to come help and stuff and which is really, really nice. I appreciate that. So I've been on the au pair website, uh, au, pair, au pair world or something like that, or what is it called, au pair.com and I've been looking for an au pair to just come out and help us with Olivia at least for four to five hours a week was no four to five hours a day what am i saying yeah and oh scam scam like i have interviewed so many people on this website and it has been so difficult because in most cases people that i interviewed they were not in the countries they say they were like i think everybody in the moment knows that it's very very difficult to travel to europe from non-EU countries so they are just on the website advertising I'm already in Germany or I'm already in Italy or you know things like that but when you call them and then you go through you know you have a face-to-face -face interview and stuff they are not even there they are still like okay I'm still like uh, uh, in Namibia I'm still like in uh, Brazil or whatever I need a visa and stuff and I'm like that's the reason why I'm here is because I know at the moment it's very difficult to get a visa to come to the EU. So it has been intense for weeks and I would say almost every single day I had mm, two to four interviews with a candidate from OPEA trying to find um, somebody who is suitable for office. But anyways, after several interviews and so on, we finally found an assistant that is just beautiful. We finally found somebody from a pair world who's coming to help us with the baby and household stuff you know like i'm just so grateful it has been very difficult to look to find somebody already in europe and now i have somebody who is already living in europe they just need to move in with us and then help with the baby so mainly it's morning time where i really need help so that ali would go back to work and should be able to work in the morning because working during the night after you've been parenting the whole evening it's it's tough it's really tough and i've seen him stressed 
you all have seen also just sometimes we could not hide our feelings anymore it has been really stressful so now we have find an assistant and I'm so happy I'm hoping that it's all going to work out very well and yeah I don't actually expect a lot from an au pair I mainly just wanted somebody who just come at home and stay with the baby between 9 and 4 in the evening then after that you can do your language course I don't need somebody cooking dinner because somebody cook I love to cook I also love to cook we cook on our own so that's fine it's just mainly taking care of the baby and I'm just so happy we found somebody who is already experienced with kids and babies who are less than a year old super excited about that and yeah um let's see how it's going to be and how we're moving forward of course we have had a conversation with my midwife and um, she was like okay you really have to be careful because you are um, introducing a new person to come live with you and your family you trust them if you live in the house and things like that but uh, you know I'm from a very big family and growing up we had also a nanny at home because my mother was always working full-time and we had a nanny and she was always with the with us as part of the family now I'm also when somebody when this lady is going to come here and stay with us for me I would treat her as part of our family because that's how I was raised and that's what I'm used to and I don't see a problem of somebody coming in to live with us and stay with us so I didn't see that as a problem I think it's beautiful and it is better than you have three adults sitting for dinner it is amazing it's better than just the two of you I mean, we've been living like the two of us for I don't know how many years now so I'm just excited and then you have somebody helping if you just want to go shopping on Saturday or so there's somebody to help with the baby or if you want to go for a short walk for a short you know I would just want to go for a run sometimes in the morning on a Saturday morning so I hoping that I will go back to all of that it's not a bad thing for an au pair not to have a visa because usually they don't have visas you always contact the family first and apply for a visa but at the moment it is it's almost impossible to get a visa so had I opted for somebody without a visa would mean that I would have to wait maybe six to eight months to see how the COVID cases are in Germany and in their home country before the visa is processed and some embassies are not even giving appointments anymore including uh, in my home country so I just I worked so hard trying to find somebody who's already in Europe maybe and I'm so happy very grateful that I found an assistant and I'm hoping that with that we should be back to our normal state I mean normal is the new normal because now we are a family of three and we're going to be a family of four but I'm so excited and I'm happy that we are now at this stage because the previous stage of stress working without a and then it was very tough was very tough especially on Alice side because I my work I wake up I leave the house I come back later after work and Ali wakes up sit at home the whole day while I'm at work just uh, babysitting and parenting and can only start working when I come back when he is extremely tired I and mean, usually he is ex extremely tired because it's in the evening so let's hope how this let's hope this is going to go well are you excited Amore? Yes. Oh, your armpits are in here. Yes, very it's hot. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get into when you're getting a new person, of course. But I'm very hopeful. I'm very positive. I've had an interview with this uh, lady. She's very matured and she already has experience with babies of Olivia's age. And he said, No, I also do a bit of household when I'm at home. So I'm fingers crossed I hope it's going to work out for us and, and you know when she gets here I don't want to add unnecessary pressure for me priority number one is really just taking care of the of Olivia when I'm away when I'm at work when I come back I'm a full-time parent when I come back home I do my duty as a parent and also during the night and, but as for now I just really wanted to show and share with you how we are dealing with the with a stressful situation that we have had before because we obviously have to slowly 
transition to going back as a couple and start living again as a couple and uh, have a safe environment for the baby to grow up. I don't want to be under unnecessary stress where I have to argue with Ali all the time just because I'm stressed. So I'm trying to find all the solutions and we really needed somebody to help and I'm hoping now after so many interviews I hope we have right there we have found the right candidate and yeah excited. Olivia is sleeping longer today isn't it? Yes. So to all of you who send out really lovely comments also who shared your experience when you were just a new when you were new parents and stuff encouragement you know let me hang in there it's just a space is going to go by and i also feel like now that phase especially then it started when the baby started getting sick which is like uh when she was maybe uh two months old and when i started working it's around the same time when i started working i think it was just too much stress and i'm feeling way better i went through all the comments but i was not able to respond because i was really in my emotion like i was just like in my mind and in my feelings like energy for this this is the end but I, no 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 i'm just grateful for all the comments you have left all the positive and like ali said sometimes youtube is therapy for us because it kind of um force us to discuss and deal with issues that otherwise if we maybe did not have a, a youtube community will not really openly deal with so for that thank you everybody for your support and see you in our next video i was actually wondering if i should do a a weight loss remedy about oh yeah speaking of olivia the <laughs> yeah no the same about the, the, she's awake she's awake